What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, we did get a PTR update yesterday, so there is a PTR of the upcoming update for Dungeon Defenders Awakened live right now. Now before we get into the patch notes, I uh, just wanted to let everybody know I will be live all day today over on Twitch, uh, playing through on the PTR. Uh, additionally, going to be doing giveaways all day long. Now, for anyone that can't make it by the stream, uh, of course, check back here tomorrow as I am going to have a giveaway started on YouTube that anyone can enter anytime. You don't have to worry about showing up to the stream. Now, let's hop right on into the patch notes. Uh, the DDA Kings Game and Tavern Storage PTR is now available for testing. There are instructions here on how to access the PTR. If you are unsure, I will put a link to this forum post down in the description below. Now this particular PTR, there isn't a new reward, but you can earn a reward if you have missed any of the previous ones. So just by playing the PTR and then completing the survey attached to it, you will unlock one of the following awards, uh, whichever one you choose. You get the Egyptian Eagle Wings, a Crystalline Corgi, a RGB pumpkin mask, or you can enter in to a giveaway for the Pizza Wings transmog, and there will be three winners pulled on that one. Now, the meat of the update itself, everyone knows the King's Game from Dungeon Defenders 1. It's quite a few people's uh, favorite map in the game. It is coming to Dungeon Defenders Awakened. Uh, this one is in. I gotta say, it looks quite glorious. I'm pretty stoked about it and looking forward to playing it some more. Uh, this one was on the survey uh, that just went out back, what, a couple of weeks ago as one of the most popular requested returning maps. And Phil already had this one in the works, so we actually got it right after the survey results. So King's Game is coming, and it's not in the PTR, but it is also confirmed that the Dice Pet will be coming. Uh, we don't know anything else about uh, map-specific weapons or anything like that yet. However, we do know that there will be a dice pet. We don't know exactly what that pet is going to be all about, but that will be the reward for survival and mix mode on the King's game. Now, additionally, there is now tavern storage. Uh, tavern storage is going to allow us to store things in our tavern, which is going to free up our inventory space and additionally decrease loading time. So if you join a lot of public games and it takes you a long time to load, you should see a significant decrease in the loading times by just using the stash in your tavern. Now, as we see here, your inventory size is greatly reduced. It's down to 99 as far as your active inventory. However, Phil has confirmed in your stash, you're gonna be able to get 999. Uh, on the PTR here, you see here the stash is holding 2000 and I'm assuming it's because the capacity is being tested as it has also been confirmed that there will be an item or items that drop that are super rare items that will allow you to increase your inventory or your stash size. So this is where it's at right now. Obviously, this is just for the PTR. Um, get your feedback in on it, what you think, what you think about these sizes and what you would like to see in the future as far as the stash. Now, player titles are coming to the game. This is uh, something that was promised from the Kickstarter. There are a ton of unlockable titles just from completing achievements throughout the game. So you will no doubt have a slew of titles available uh, when you very first log in. Now, in addition to that, there is a new special enemy schedule system. What this means is the enemies that come out of what lane, what enemies, how many, and when they come out. Uh, this is going to kind of even out the number of enemies throughout the course of a wave so that we shouldn't have to wait around for enemies to spawn at the end of the wave. And additionally, like the very beginning of the wave, it won't just dump all of the special enemies onto the map all at once. So it's going to be percentage based, uh, meaning like your percentage of completion of the wave is when the trigger will happen for various enemies to come out. So this is a super short PTR, y'all. You got just basically the weekend. So make sure if you want to check it out and get your feedback in that you do. Uh, this PTR is going to end on Tuesday. And as you see here, the goal is to release this update 
prior to Dungeon Defenders Awakens anniversary of May 28th. So it's going to be a super short PTR, uh, hopefully not a whole lot of bugs, and will be out to us live very, very quickly on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Uh, links to all the goods are down below. Make sure to swing on by Twitch and uh, check out some of the giveaways and just some PTR fun. Going to be playing a whole lot of King's game here later on today. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.